Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Zeno. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing Wukong and if you guys do not want to be looking at the draft, please go to the time as directed in the top right of the screen. Also want to make an announcement. I'm going to be adding subtitles to my videos. That is because I feel like I have a lot of international audience who really might not understand English as their first language or not at all. So we will have Vietnamese subtitles and maybe Portuguese, stuff like that. I'm pretty excited about that. You can see I pick Wukong here. Honestly, there's not much to explain, but I guess I could explain the hard counters to Wukong because a lot of people like me to explain, hey Zane, what counters this hero and what can it counter? So Wukong, what can counter a Wukong? In my opinion, a Zephyrs can counter a Wukong. Zill can do very good versus Wukong as well. Junglers like Wonder Woman, Rourke, Really the tanky ones, the ones that can go immune, they can have a big problem for Wukong. Errol jungle might actually be a pretty big threat too, just because again, just that iframe of constantly avoiding all the damage. Zephyrs, of course, Leviathan, 300 armor with the new Leviathan. That's just so much armor that a Wukong cannot really deal with. Here you can see, by the way guys, just a pretty quick tip, you want to be maxing your second skill first, and you can see at 26 seconds into the game, I'm going to be using the second skill. That's because it's like a violet roll. It'll last 5 seconds, and you can just use it and wait until the buff spawns, and you have an enhanced basic attack. So you're just getting more damage for really no worry at all. And Jet is pretty nice. Here, I'm going to be starting blue buff, which is opposite of the dragon, guys. I'm kind of doing an experiment. I feel like a lot of people right now are just starting on the blue buff. And I really understand the reason why, because obviously you want to be having that blue buff. Um, not only because you clear faster when you do have blue buff, but you would never want to be getting your blue buff invaded. Of course, that cooldown reduction and mana is so important in the early game. You really can't lose that of course you can lose the red buff even though you might not have as much gank potential since you won't be having that red buff and all the slow it's still pretty important of course we're going to be pre-ordering our war boots there and see violet down at bot so i do want to jump onto her maybe burn her flicker or something you can see she flickers into the wall there uh not really very effective but hey i guess it works and she did survive but now we know she has no flicker see i'm being pretty passive here i see Tulin, so i'm going to basic attack with my second skill, then use my hidden off my first skill, hit him. To finish it off, I use my ultimate and run away with the ultimate uh, hidden ability. That actually not used to be there all the time, guys. You know, the second part of Wukong's ultimate. It used to just be his, his ulti and uh, an enhanced basic attack, but they buffed it like many months ago, many, many months ago. Decided not really to do dragon there because I didn't really care too much about it. I, ult I used my punish onto the sentinel there. I didn't honestly mind about giving my omen KO the, the sentinel buff because I know that it will help him in his lane. Um, you can see that the Jannar there is dying, but I can't really help him out. There's nothing that I can do to two full HP people. See Ryoma trying to invade me, and again, there's not much I can do to a Ryoma and a Tulin at max HP. So it's better off if I just forget that camp and maybe just leave it for now but it looks like the ryoma didn't even want to go after it anymore but i'm just going to leave that completely because i see that there is a little bit of fighting around here need to go and defend my bot side jungle i'll get into more in, of the combos later but yeah you can notice i just skipped the camp it's just to help with our clear speed being fast look at this lumber trying to recall into the bush actually gets his recall stopped um, we can see Violet, and guys, of course, we know that she used her flicker already. She doesn't have it. So lead in with my second skill, use my ultimate just to stun her, and we're able to pick up a quick, quick kill. Have to leave my my Yorn there to just die. I, I use my second skill in the bush just to queue up the skill, getting it ready. Of course, you always want to be having that skill queued. There's, it's really like a Violet roll in that way. That's what, that's how I like to put it, anyways. You can see they take the dragon, but again, we can't really walk up to it. Our support is not with us at the moment or excuse me my our adc was just not there so there's really no point i'm assuming that the ryoma is going to be rotating up and of course he is look at that look at how well we use our second skill um, i'll break down this combo a little bit more so we lead in with our first skill instantly jump onto him then use our ultimate just to stun 
use our second skill to avoid the ultimate and escape with our own second part of the ulti guys the general combo on wukong is you use a skill and then you use a basic attack and then you just go into another skill so let me give you guys an example second skill use second skill you use the enhanced basic attack then you use a basic attack then you use first skill basic attack you just weave in basic attacks between all of your skills and your damage output will actually be increased significantly if you do this it's one of the ways that wukong is actually pretty good you can see we get her quite low but we're not quite able to finish it off there pretty unfortunate because we didn't have our ultimate um it was busy resetting on cooldown we need to go back to our blue buff and help our mid laner i'm thinking that they're going to be invading our blue at this point um you can see that i did start this which was a bit greedy of me i should have just ran straight back to the blue because of course as you can see it's in the bush there that's power panning your map always do it guys but you can see there is some action i'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on a tool in here use my ultimate and then run away because i was not able to deal enough damage you can see the Ryoma here, he extends a bit too far without his team, so we're just able to pick him up. Use my first skill here for speed up, then second skill straight onto the Zuka, and he cannot do anything. Second skill is actually pretty strong, guys. Not only are you leveling up it up, I, don't, I actually don't think it helps with the cooldown reduction much, but you level up the second skill for all the armor that it gives. At max level, it gives you like 300 armor, um, physical and magical, so it can really help you tank quite a bit of damage, and yeah. You just always want to be maxing that out first. I say that as I like level up my first skill in game. I think that must have been a mistake. I don't really play Wukong that much. You can see Violet's down here. So of course, I just want to go and get a kill onto her before we do anything else. I'm being a bit cheap with my ultimate here. I should have just used it sooner. That was very kind of dumb by me. Like it's not that a, a ultimate is big deal. Only 20 second cooldown. But yeah, of course, I should have dropped everything and just ran straight to her. The reason you want to be doing that is just because... After the Violet's dead, then I can just do any objective that I want. It's a 4v5 on the map, and when you play the numbers game like that, it's so strong. Just know Their team knowing that it's a 4v5 and they can't contest anything, that's such a powerful advantage on the battlefield. Definitely worth avoiding my jungle clear for a bit and just running straight down there. Definitely, definitely worth it. Again, we have to go back to our blue buff not really much to talk about now um able to get a quick kill onto the tool and use my ultimate just to make sure that i cc that ryoma in the bush and then just use the second part to escape again you always need to be saving one of the hiddens to escape you can't just burn all of your hidden abilities you have to save your first skill or the second part of your ultimate or else you will most likely die there's going to be really no way to escape a team fight without using your hidden and Honestly, using Hidden in a team fight with Wukong, it's actually hard to track where he goes. You can be very, very sneaky. Like, even I get juked sometimes. It's A lot of the time, I, I am able to keep up with the Wukong, but sometimes they just completely juke me. Uh, you can see that the Ryoma's here, so I need to use my ultimate basic attack. Again, go with my Hidden, and use my second skill over the over onto the Violet. I knew that she was going to go over the wall because of how she was walking with that. Just tap that tool in, and he goes down. I knew the Violet was going to flicker over the wall. The reason being was because she was basically hugging the wall. Um, there's no other reason she would be doing that. Zill goes in here. You can see I queue up my second skill and my first skill. So as soon as the Zill goes unimmune, I will be able to hit him with a charged up basic attack. Very well played by us to realize that. So we can just have that there waiting for us as soon as his ultimate runs out don't really know what to, what to do at this point because we can't really tower dive too well um you can see i just jumped straight onto this ryoma we're able to kill him again just weaving in the basic attack super super important honestly one of the best tips on wukong that i can give you guys looks like my team's going in here able to jump onto the zuka just kill him guys it looks like a pentakill at this point i was so upset that i didn't get a penta but we are able to pick up a triple with that kill onto tulin and look at this guys you would not believe that in conqueror versus my wukong the enemy team just surrenders and i'm gonna keep the rest of this video short because i know i think i add a bit too much time at the end so i'll try to keep things short and yeah that was a very good game one of the biggest tips just weave in your basic attacks if you guys enjoyed this gameplay and you're new here first off welcome to the channel i really hope you enjoy my type of content you know with these guides 
So make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy this content. I have daily live streams, daily videos that I'm sure all of you will enjoy. Anyways, I'm just going to be showing you guys the damage here and then that is going to be it. 35% damage. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out everybody. Talk to you later.